Praise God, folks. This is just a little, a little vid time I'm doing, you know. A lot of things that I've been hearing and, and keeping track of and doing a little research. But to all my uh, uh, fellow uh, brother and sisters in Christ, I said, you know, to God be the glory. Now let's get on with this. John Boehner, T. Mott was right when we, he, he said we don't have any friends in Congress. I mean, uh, he don't, we don't have any friends in the Republican Party or Democratic Party. Very few, if any. Let me tell you something. John Boehner has a heck of a lot of nerve. Let me, let, me, let me tell you what I'm getting at here. John Boehner makes $224,500 a year. He works the equivalent of two to three days at the most. And I'm giving, I'm giving him, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt out of every week. Do you know how many times that Congress has been let out since uh, the holidays? The, I mean, uh, Christmas and New Year holidays? Do you understand this? And this man said, no. They took, accepted a pay raise. Now, like I said, we know what John Boehner get. Harry Reid and Mitch McConnell and Eric, Mitch McConnell and Eric Cantor, I think they get about, what, 194000 199000 a year. And the average, you know, ordinary congressperson gets 174000 your congressmen and women. Or 174900 Now, they accepted a $900 pay raise. Yet, they've accomplished nothing. You have over 15 million Americans who are unemployed. Then they, look what they did with this sequester. Do you know how many people, how many jobs are lost? And never mind that, you, do you also know that they get the best gov uh, uh, health care? They get the federal health care, the top of the line. And they get it for the rest of their lives, from what I'm understanding. And he has a military plane at his disposal, since he's the third man in all, oh, well, never mind that. But what I'm saying, what hypocrisy. He should be the first partaker of the fruit, or they should. They should take a 15 to 20 percent pay cut. They are a hypocrites and a phony. And they tell, and he has the audacity. You know what the sequester cut? Not only defense spending. Medicare, I think, has a 2 percent pay cut. A pay cut to unemployment benefits. Do you know after? In the last 10 years, over the last 10 years, over 55,000 manufacturing plants have left out of the three counties, the three surrounding counties where I am right now, about 10 major manufacturing plants are gone. Construction in this area is almost at a standstill. You have to go almost a thousand miles for major construction, or hundreds of miles, I'll put it that way. Then he said, people don't need a, a there's no need to raise the minimum wage, it'll cut jobs. Do, let me tell you something. Poverty creates crime. Where there, are, where there is extreme poverty, there is extreme crimes being committed. All around us is very unsafe. And I'm not talking about any, I'm not going to single out any race group. Whites and blacks. I took a friend to the unemployment office. There were elderly, white, and black. There were people there almost 70. A man sold me a 40 hour a week paycheck and he had a hundred dollars in it. And you know what he said? What am I going to do? And he was almost cry. He said, I can't live like this. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what, what the, how the unemployment stats are. Whites are white, are brothers and sisters, 8%. Blacks, 15% unemployment. And these are people who want to work. Our Spanish brothers and sisters, 12% unemployment. Asians, 8% unemployment. You know you have a labor force of about 153 million people. Yet, look at all the millions and millions of people who are unemployed. That's preposterous. That's insane. And you mean to tell me they don't, you accepted a pay raise? You hypocrite? You phony? Lord, please remember 2014, we do not have any friends or very little at all in the, the Democratic or Republican Party. Those guys need to be 
kicked out. They, they should. They're a hypocrite and they're phonies and they're greedy. They're in the pockets of self-interest groups. It's a disgrace. I mean, think of the political parties. About 20 or 15 years ago, uh, or 30 years ago, they have nothing on these people. They, they, these people, huh? they, they can't relate to you. John Bain is a multimillionaire, and there's nothing wrong with being a multimillionaire. But when you forget the people who elect you there, that's why I said if you want to change Washington, you have to change who you send there. Don't vote for somebody because he's white. Don't vote for somebody because he's black, green, or red. But if he's standing for everyday values and the, and the welfare of the average ordinary Americans, and the more ungodly the country gets, the far out we are. We're going to turn this place into a third world country. And it's rapidly approaching that. The streets are very unsafe. Look at it, even the shooting down kids. You can't do anything off of $290 a week, John Boehner. Take a pay cut. You, Harry Reid, Mitch McConnell, and Eric Cannon. Take your time in 2014 and vote. God bless.